Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, and we're continuing our series on tying through the flies that come with the Hairline Fly Tying Material Kit, and today we are tying the Wooly Bugger that is on page 28. If you have the materials, we'll get going. If you don't, in the description below, there's links for the kit or the materials, uh, and you can get those and then join us again. Thanks, let's go. Okay, you're gonna start with your Viva 6 hot thread that comes in the kit, and we're gonna just start Start by throwing some thread down on the, the hook shank. This keeps the material from, uh, from spinning. If the material's just on that metal, it'll, it'll rotate on you. So just back to where it uh, is right above the barb. And then now we're gonna work with the marabou uh, feather first, and this is gonna be for the tail. And uh, there's all sorts of parts to the feather. You get really wispy stuff towards the tip. It gets fluffier down toward the base. And uh, a lot of times, I, I mean, I like to tie with the stuff kind of in the middle section of the, um, the feather. And I'll, I'll, a lot of times I'll just strip the, uh, the material off and then I'll just kind of stack it. So I'll hold it in place to see uh, the length that I, that I want. And then I'll change hands and, um, and use that left hand to kind of pin it in place. Sometimes the, the, the fly will get a little bit messy in the process and that's okay because that's gonna be, um, it's, it gets buried, so it doesn't need to be all perfect. So now we're gonna tie in, um, now we're gonna tie in the materials in the reverse order that they're gonna be tied. So the last thing that, that we're gonna end up tying is gonna be wire. So this section of copper wire, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tie this in here then my strung saddle hackle i'm going to tie this in now this gets tied in a couple different ways so uh there's there's options here uh, i like to i like to kind of strip the, the the fluff off the bottom of the feather but what some people will do is they'll cut the fluff off and then they'll cut into the feather a little bit so it just uh, leaves some of those pieces in there and then they tie that in and they'll wrap that forward a lot of times what I'll do is I just take the feather and I just uh, kind of stroke the feather down and I'll grab just the front of the feather and I'll tie the front of the feather in. And, um, and then this way the, the feather has a, a kind of a, a taper to it where it's, it's fatter in the front and then tapers back. Um, and I, I just, I like doing that, especially on bigger ones. Okay, so here's the chenille. This is gonna be the thing we wrap first, so we're gonna tie this in last. And with the chenille, I, I always leave it in the bag, I leave it cinched up, and I'll just pull a little piece out. And then that way, instead of cutting the material and, and uh, having scrap kind of waste material at the end, um, I just work out of the bag, and, and I do this on, on pretty much all different uh, like spooled materials like this. And so, so then we're gonna take the chenille, and we're just gonna make wraps. We're gonna wrap forward towards the, the eye of the hook. Now, I'm gonna, I could probably fit one more wrap in there, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave that because I have other material that I'm gonna be tying, tying up there as well. So now I'm going to take my feather and you just have to watch the feathers because they, they sometimes will spin on you and, you and you want the kind of the glossy top of the feather, the concave of it, you want it going back. For dry flies, we usually will tie the feather in the opposite direction. Here at the front, I'll usually make a second wrap just to give a little bit more material towards the eye. And then we take the, the wire, and now the wire is going to wrap through this and 
sometimes you'll, I kind of do a, a little bit of a wiggle as I wrap it and just to, so it doesn't wrap down too many of the uh, fibers from that feather, and just kind of weaving it through. If they do, you can use your scissor and you can kind of pull, pull it out or you can use a bodkin if you have a bodkin. The wire step could, can be skipped, but this uh, this definitely adds to the durability of the of the fly. Like in other videos we've mentioned, uh, don't use your scissors to cut the wire, and if you or if you do have the arrow scissors, that little notch at the bottom of it, that little notch will keep your scissors from uh, from those blades getting really dull. And if your feather's kind of going crazy forward, you can hold the fibers back and wrap slight back over them and that'll kind of help give it a little bit more uh, more structure there. Tied a half hitch and then a whip finish. And then uh, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this head cement. Just a tiny bit. Here's a variant you can do. You can use a bead and this is that same size six that comes in the kit with a 4.8 millimeter bead on here. You're tying my marabou for my tail. And on this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a crystal flash for the tail to give it a little bit of sparkle here. So I'm just gonna put two pieces of flash. On either side. Hey, I hope that video was helpful on tying the woolly bugger. If you need any supplies like beads or any of that kind of stuff, uh, we got those in the, the description below. If you have questions, we really want to help new tires get into tying flies. So leave comments below with questions and we're happy to answer those. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We got a lot more videos coming out and you'll get notified if you do. Thanks.